And we're seeing positivity, and I suppose, uh, again, it's uh, affirmation that the banking sector is looking good, at least the first quarter numbers looking much better than what we saw full year 2011. We're waiting for first bank uh, results to still come through. There's uh, high hopes for these numbers, and hopefully they don't disappoint. Oh, hello, Eleni. Thanks for having me. Yes, you, you, you're, rightly, you're right that um, Q1 numbers we've seen so far have been quite impressive. UBA came out with strong numbers. GT as well has come out with strong numbers. I think we expect that trend to continue with First Bank as well. The expectation is that we would see quarter on quarter loan growth of about close to 5%. We could see ROE as well improve significantly from the 13% figure that it ended. For GT and UBA, Q1 analyzed ROE stood at about 30%. So I, I would expect numbers moving close to that line. We could see ROEs, our full year ROE expectation for First Bank is about 18%. So the expectation is that we'd see improvement in that as well. And we expect gross earnings and net earnings to be up by about 20% quarter on quarter. So I think the expectation is that we'd see strong numbers from First Bank as well. And I would say within our coverage average for 2011, First Bank came up second in terms of ROE's ranking. Mm -hmm. And so we expect to see strong performance for First Bank. Cost to income ratio as well was quite impressive, down to about 56%. So the expectation is that we'd see improvement in cost and we'd see results from the general cost improvement measures that have been put in place for the bank. So I, I would expect that positive tone to continue in Q1. But I think the point to note as well is that because these numbers are not audited, most times you'd see some analyzed Q1 numbers are quite very significantly from full year numbers. So I would say until we start seeing audited interim numbers before we'd expect the market to really hold these numbers strongly. So I'd still expect some caution with or the market to be quite yeah. cautious with these numbers okay so you are when we see i mean the the nsc has done fantastically this week and also last week we saw a bit of positivity something we haven't seen in a while because we keep seeing flat markets lackluster markets uh we're starting to see a slight pickup if we see the first bank numbers materialize as we expect so a lot of the numbers that you mentioned how much more upside could we possibly see? Or have we already seen uh, you know, investors factoring, factoring in uh, the numbers that you were talking of? You know, I think in my view, I don't think investors are really priced, fully priced in the strong performance that we could see in 2012. And I think the major reason why is, I would say that is because 2011 was quite disappointing if you compare expectation to full year numbers, even though for a couple couple of the banks you could see on the top line we saw year on year strong numbers while provisioning eroded most of the earnings for a couple of the banks but I would say at this point in time I, I don't think the good news have been fully priced in yet because if you look at valuations these banks are still trading at discounts our coverage average for example are trading at about 0.6 times to current book values at this point. So we'd expect, and I think they expect, and if you compare them with Sub-Saharan African peers that are trading at 1.3 times, the, there's a significant discount to that. And so I, I would expect that as ROEs improve, we would start, we'll see a rating in the banking sector as well. So I think my expectation is that over the couple of quarters, we'll start seeing that filter through. And I think another reason why you've still seen lockluster performance in markets is because the domestic players, fund managers are still out of the market. And yeah. I think as long as we see high yields in the fixed income space, it will still take some time before you start seeing that strong demand. Even though I'll say from time to time, you still see some value investors come into the market. But at this point, I think the domestic play still out significantly. Well, you wait, if I, I, I could think just... until you start seeing yields come down, you, yeah. I, I think that's when you see stronger domestic input. Sorry for cutting you. Okay, no problem. Um, um, Muyua, if I could just touch on the private sector credit extension growth. I mean, this is an amazing number, and I say this is amazing because I compare it to the numbers that we talk of in South Africa. We're looking at a number of 50.7% year-on-year in March from 53.3% uh, in February. Uh, it's a fantastic number that's coming through. Um, what kind of expectations do you have going forward, and what does this mean for the overall um, you know, monetary policy trend? I would say if you look at the numbers at face value, they've been, significant, they've been very strong and impressive. But I think a point to note is that they're coming off a low base. So in 2000 and 
10, December 2010, Moose Bank sold significant amount of loans to Amcon, close to about two trillion worth of loans. And so if you compare January 2011 to December 2011, there's a significant gap from that. And so I would say that was a, a major reason why there was that um, huge leap. But I think apart from that, there's still, quarter and quarter growth was still quite positive. I think about three, yeah. 3% improvement, even though February, to, there was a decline in February compared to January. But I'll say if you look at the numbers we've seen that from the bank so far, for GT, quarter and quarter uh, gross loans was up about four, 5%, while for UB, I think it was rather flat. So I think it depends on how the banks decide to yeah. play the sector. So for banks that are very corporate centric, we Fantastic. should continue to see reasonable strong loan growth but for retail focused banks i think it would be a bit flat Fantastic. because banks are still quite cautious lending to the sector we have to leave it there thank you so much for joining us i really appreciate your time um you are Ani, uh, coming to us live from lagos from the stanvig ibtc floor